Hello and welcome to Drawing with the Blakeleys. I'm, I'm Dad. I'm Charlie. And Charlie, who is this? This is the Mant. The Mant. Yes. The Mant from? It's from Brownden. Mmm, this looks like a strange, strange dude. I'm yes. excited to draw him. Indeed. Thank you to, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is this allowed? Yes. Charlie Blakely requested this one? Indeed. Are you even subscribed to the channel, bro? I'm probably. I don't think so. You know what? Because you're my son, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Yeah. Folks at home, hopefully, you also enjoy this. And it's not just for Charlie. Yes. All right, well, Mant, let's start drawing Mant by drawing his Mantanas. I don't know. That like, it's like, I started to make a thing like Antana, Mant, Mant, Tana, I don't sure. know. I'm gonna draw them first just because in our reference image, one of them is going over our guy's eyeball. In the real life, I don't think that, uh, that human insect chimeras have antennas like this, but... You know, I guess I don't know everything. This is on the page. All right. <clears throat> so I got a couple of antennas. <laughs> antennas. See what I did there, Charles? No. I keep trying to tell the same joke, but it's not really getting any funnier. <laughs> so we have this eyeball is a little bit more front facing. Where is this eyeball? A little bit of the side of the face. Coming in, so it's actually extending out from his face, which is why it's just slightly flatter on that side. Also, let's give him some of these things, fangs, pincers. I'm not a, an expert at insect parts, but I would say they're probably one of those two things I just mentioned. Insect terminology? Yeah, I would call that insect terminology. Oh, um, okay. I'm not supposed to be in a video. Charlie, this is yeah. one of your favorite video games. Indeed. Why is that? I've been playing it forever. Forever. You've been playing it since before it was released. Technically, yes. Um, I, it wasn't I, I guess. For like 12 years. I guess my question to you is how come? It's fun, because you get to beat up insects. <laughs> so you're kind of like that kid with the magnifying glass that we've all heard of slash been. Yes. Wouldn't it be easier to beat up insects if you were full size and they were tiny? Well, that's the point of the game. That's like the game where you can get big again. Have you beaten the game to the point where you got big again? Yes. You get big again <coughs> and you fight off and, and bugs and then ten and them. Wait, like, do, the, do the bugs also get big? No. Okay. You kill all of them. Interesting, interesting. I'm learning so much today, friends. All right. So we got Matt's head. And tell me more about I've never played, I think I played about five minutes of this game once when you left it on and then had to go do something and I was with it in the room. I sort of have a vague memory of playing it mm -hmm. here. So we're doing, right now we're doing the shoulders. Should, probably shouldn't get too far away from that part. This guy really is kind of a, a big hulking dude. Indeed. The fact that his shoulders are so much higher than the uh, top of his head is kind of fun. Definitely gives that impression of big hulking guy here. All right, I'm not gonna go too much further down that side because I do want to draw the left arm first. <coughs> so Charles, one mm -hmm. of your favorite games. Indeed. What do you like about it? You gotta survive in the backyard and you know, you got, you know, not dying and... I mean, I, I don't know, I've, like I said, I've only barely played it. Beating up bugs. I guess that question was kind of already asked and answered. Well, yeah, you get to beat up big giant spiders if you decide to get the 
sandwich thing. The sandwich, huh? The sandwich. I need a sandwich to fight a, a big spider boss. Interesting. Interesting. I guess I like thought this was would be fun to draw because I like drawing weird chimera things and this seemed like that. I guess we'll see if the folks at home agree that this was a fun thing to have drawn. Dude's got big thick fingers, so I'll tell you what. What would you do if your fingers were this thick, Charles? Mm. I think you'd probably go into a, a trade. Be like a plumber or, I don't know, somebody who works with their hands. Be my guess. Excuse me. All right. And then, I'll have it go into his, uh, kind of follow line here into his peck area. I don't know, maybe it's not a peck if he's a, some kind of man ant. Mm, sure. So what is the uh, story here with Mant? I, boy, you got the story. You got Dr. Wendell. He's a scientist guy. Made shrinking. Mm -hmm. He's dying because, you know, you only you, you start getting old fast if you shrink too long or something like that. Okay. And he makes the man because, like, yo, I'm going to transfer my consciousness with this big buff man guy so I don't die and stuff. But it doesn't work, so he just kind of uses it as a bodyguard because, you know, the... I forgot what the bad guys were called, the orcs or something. They're trying to, you know, find them because, you know, they're evil and stuff. And they do evil things like stream kids and stuff. So the bad guy is not the guy who created Matt. No, 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 no. He, he's, he's a good guy and he's has a family that kind of left him, so you feel bad for him. Okay, but uh, don't you fight Matt? Yes. So... One of the bad guys of the game is. Well, 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 it was a failed experiment, so he didn't, it didn't work as intended. So you, you can't blame him too much for it. So the guy who made this is not at all the evil boss. No, yeah, that's. You don't have to like then fight him. No, no, no. He's he's just kind of like a floating head in a jar, so you know. A, don't need to a worry. still alive floating head in a jar. Yeah. Whoa, that's that's bizarre. Not gonna lie, bro. That's bizarre. I think... <laughs> I was asking Charlie some questions about this before the video. I think the fact that dude is wearing whitey tighties might be one of the reasons I think he's kind of funny. <laughs> he's, wearing, he's wearing briefs. You don't see too many... Uh, it's not too Monsters hard. generally, or... Chimera specifically that are wearing uh are wearing think briefs. Or you think this is like Godzilla or something? They're calling it a chimera. A chimera just it, it means a uh, something that's combined a combination of different things like a He's fungus. A griffin or a unicorn. Or toilet rat. A uh a manticore. Chimera is also a specific uh, thing. Specific monster that's a... Let's see if I can remember correctly. Lion head and body. Snake for a tail. And then a goat head coming out of his back. I believe is the is the combination that makes a chimera. And of the three, you think lion, right? Lion head, snake head, goat head. You think that the that the goat head would be the least deadly, but it's actually the most deadly because, Charlie, do you know why? Stop. Spoiler alert, it breathes fire. And that sounds like an average goat thing. As someone who's played goat simulator, that's 
that's the, kind of the game. Goat shenanigans. Your goat breathes fire? Yeah, it does if you pay $15 for like one of the DLCs. Oh boy. What if I don't pay $15 and well, then you're I just, just gonna have to stick with get a normal goat from, from real life? You're gonna have to just stick with putting a jetpack on it. It's still pretty fun to just absolute chaos with a jetpack. I'm noticing this guy, three fingers, three toes, but his toes almost look like, his hands and his toes are almost like identical, like, can he grip things with his feet? I don't know. He, he doesn't? He's made out of muscle cabbage. Uh, is that a thing? That it... Yes, it's just muscle cabbage, but mutated. Muscle hey, do we find a cat for this? Hmm? Do we find a cat for this one? No, that's, that's a dead one. Oh. I'm pretty sure it's fully dried out at this point. Oh no, it's still got some juice left in it. Uh, the juice is called ink. Well, same thing. <laughs> Alright, if that's true, I'm going to pour you a big glass of juice, quote unquote, aka ink, and we'll see if you drink it. Uh, sure, I'll drink that. Delicious. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> oh, delicious, bro. <clears throat> Who doesn't like that combination of drinks? Delicious. Delicious ink drink. Indeed. High in vitamin I. I for ink. It's a pretty easy boss. You can take him out by yourself. Do you not normally do things by yourself in this game? Oh, yeah, I kind of beat the whole game by myself. In terms of beating you with friends, that's kind of unfair because we haven't played oh, the game in like I see. a year now. We're all busy playing Rocket League, bro. What's Rocket League? Is that it's, a... it's car soccer, man. Car? I'm sorry, car soccer? Yes. Like, f like football? No. Like F O T football? No. But with cars? No, it's soccer. But in Europe, they call football soccer. Or they call soccer bro, football. We are European, bro. I don't know. I was one time using a public restroom, and there was some graffiti on the wall that said, Outside, you're American, and here, European. Mm. Uh. <laughs> <coughs> you sure? Pretty sure. You didn't make that up. Did I make that up? No. Now this is going off the top of our reference image, but you're telling me there's some kind of... Yeah, bro, it's fungus. It's fungus. fungus. Uh, d this isn't just random at the top, it has like a mushroom or something? Yes, he's fungus. It explodes. You know, I'm gonna wait to finish that until I actually get a look at it. Yeah, it's bubbly and it explodes and it's in huge pustules things. Alright, well, um, I think at this axe. point... I, I need an axe. You need an axe to chop that stuff up. And you do need it for explosives, which you kind of do need for half the stuff in the game. All right, well, uh, let's go ahead and uh, color this, and then we'll come back and talk some more. Indeed. Let's do that. Oh, are you going somewhere? Um, I, I was Just looking. kidding. It's not looking too bad. That's an there. old joke. Oh, yeah. Rain and mix your rain and snow. It makes it a pain to, you know, try to walk. Walk where? Anywhere outside, because you're probably going to slip. Yeah, but I don't think you're really trying to walk anywhere, Charles, are you? Mm. Didn't seem like you were making a lot of effort to go I anywhere. Don't have anyway. A license, so I can't really. Awesome. Well, there's our mints. If you want to see something else from 
Uh, grounded. Grounded. First of all, don't be Charlie Blakely because we already did his. <laughs> Unlikely to do it again since he's not subscribed to the channel. And not that you have to be subscribed for us to do it, but it does help. So, keep that in mind. Awesome. Well, that's it, friends. We'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.